Hello everyone, I have a very interesting game for you. This game was played today, it was the India's uh, Premier Championship, it was the Round 6 and the star of Round 6 is definitely Kartika and Murali. Uh, Mr. Kartika and Murali is a two times uh, India National Championship, he won the uh, Under 12 World Championship in 2011 and in 2013 he won the Under 16 World Championship. So, so far Mr. Kartika and Murali pre pretty much won everything he could win. Uh, but this game, uh, he's facing a very strong Indian Grandmaster, uh, Musunuri Lalith Babu. And I'm sure you all remember Mr. Lalith Babu from January 2017, uh, that game in the Gibraltar Open, uh, where he defeated Ho Yifan in five moves. Uh, after the game, uh, Ho Yifan said that she lost on purpose, but uh, I don't buy it. I mean, uh, Lalith Babu obviously owned that game, uh, as I'm sure you all agree. Uh, but let's see this game. Uh, so Kartikan has the white pieces and he plays e4. Uh, we have c6, uh, so the Karo Khan defends by Lalit Babu, knight to f3, d5, uh, knight to c3, and now bishop to g4. Uh, instead of bishop to g4, white is obviously inviting black to push d4. Uh, but this isn't that great for black after knight e2, white is perfectly fine, and obviously if uh, white uh, offered this, uh, he knows what he's doing. Uh, so bishop to g4, we have h3, bishop captures, queen captures, and now e6. Uh, black uh, got rid of his light square bishop, he now has all of his pawns on the light squares, and now this dark square bishop is free to roam in between them as much as he wants. Uh, we have bishop to e2, and uh, here Mr. Lalit Babu uh, decides that uh, he would like to fianchetto his dark square bishop, and I mean, okay, who doesn't? Uh, maybe a better move would be knight to f6 or bishop to e7, but he goes for g6 immediately. And now all of his pawns are on light squares, and this seems uh, kind of funny. I'm sure I'm sure there's something wrong with this. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can't play g6 in, in this position. Uh, we have d4, uh, bishop to g7, and the bishop to e3. Uh, knight to f6, now e5, knight f to d7, and h4. Uh, if black decides to castle king side, this pawn is going to h5 and the white is breaking through, through this would be quite dangerous at the moment. Uh, so a6, uh, we have bishop to g5 uh, with a tempo on the queen, uh, queen to b6 and now uh, Kartikian plays queen side castle. He's not afraid uh, of this queen, the queen is blocking the b pawn, uh, the knight and the rook are still undeveloped so it's not really going to be a problem. Uh, we have c5, and uh, Kartikian disregards the c pawn and the threat of c captures on d4, uh, and plays h5. He wants to break through on the king side. Uh, we have c captures on d4, and now h captures on g6. And uh, we have h captures on g6. Uh, of course, the knight cannot be captured because of queen to f7. This is checkmate. The bishop is guarding d8. Uh, so after h captures on g6, we have a recapture, and now rook captures on h8. Uh, bishop captures on h8 and now rook to h1, uh, the strongest move, uh, not allowing not allowing uh, black to capture the knight on c3 as rook captures on h8 comes with check uh, and uh, more importantly not allowing this uh, d7 knight to capture the e5 pawn. This, is a, this would be pretty good for black if black could get this move in between. Uh, so we have bishop captures on e5 and now rook to h7. Uh, threatening the f7 pawn and uh, this bishop on e5 is now actually blocking this knight from coming to e5. Uh, so we have f6 and already you see that uh, those pawns that were, are, are, uh, that were on light squares uh, have already been compromised and now this f6 move was a must. Um, black, uh, <laughs> black is not gonna have fun playing this position. Uh, and here we have a very nice move. Uh, knight captures on d5 and what's the idea here? Well, the knight is obviously attacking the queen on b6, also threatening knight captures on f6 with tempo. And Mr. Lalit Babu captures the knight, e captures on d5. Uh, declining the sacrifice with, for example, queen to a5 uh, leads to knight captures on f6 with check. Uh, bishop captures and now bishop captures on f6. Uh, after something like knight to c6, there is no time to capture the a2 pawn. Uh, queen to g3. Uh, with the threat of queen captures on g6 and mate to follow uh, and after knight to f8 for example rook captures on b7 uh, rook to a7 rook captures knight captures and now queen to d6 and uh, black is completely lost here the threat is queen to e7 check 
checkmate and uh, well whatever black plays so white will either win a lot of material or checkmate the black king so after f6 and we have this knight captures on d5 with a tempo on the queen lalit babu accepts and uh, we have queen captures on d5 again offering now this bishop on g5 and here lalit babu played a uh, queen to c5 uh, but what happens if the bishop is, is captured? If f captures on g5, this actually leads to a checkmate uh, in three moves. With queen to g8 with check, uh, the knight has to block. And after knight to f8, queen to f7 check, king to d8. And now queen captures on f8, this is checkmate. Uh, so after queen to d5, we have queen to c5. Now Lalit Babu offers uh, the exchange of queens. Uh, but this is, of course, not acceptable uh, to Kartikian. Uh, we have uh, queen to g8 with check, now queen to f8 blocking, and queen captures on g6, uh, forcing the king on d8. We have king to d8, and now bishop to d2. Uh, finally getting this bishop out of harm's way, and now it's uh, black to play. And uh, what do you play here? Uh, here black played uh, queen to d6. Maybe, probably, probably a more resilient move was uh, king to c7. As, as you'll see in the game, uh, the king was forced uh, to, to take a walk either way. Uh, so we have uh, queen to d6 and now bishop to g4, and this is a this is a brilliant move. This bishop to g4 uh, because uh, black was black was uh, threatening to develop uh, with king to c7, king b6. Uh, now the knight cannot come into the game with knight to c6 uh, because rook captures on d7 is a threat. Uh, so uh, again, this knight and this rook on a8 are still forced to be undeve uh, undeveloped. Uh, king to c7 and now queen to g8. Uh, again, stopping the knight from developing. Uh, we have rook to a7, and it seems that now the knight is ready to be developed, but we have rook to h8. And what would happen if uh, black played knight to c6 now, if he would try this? Well, the, unfortunately it doesn't work because of queen to c8 check. And uh, after the king moves, uh, your king is awkwardly placed on b6. This knight is... Uh, you're losing this knight with bishop captures or queen captures. Uh, so after rook to h8, uh, king to b6 now. And this is a very funny looking king on b6. Uh, we have f4. Uh, this comes with a tempo as the bishop uh, can't retreat anywhere. And it's uh, very important that this, bishop, this dark square bishop uh, stays on f4. Uh, and you'll see why. Uh, we have bishop captures on f4 and only now queen to d8 with check. And now uh, black has a problem. Uh, if you block this with the queen, for example, queen to c7, uh, you get bishop captures on f4, uh, you can't recapture the bishop, your queen is pinned with the queen, you have to capture the queen, and after rook captures, uh, well, uh, this is very unfortunate, you are losing this knight, uh, uh, it's attacked twice, if the knight moves, you're losing the knight on b8, and after a move like uh, knight to e5, you just capture it, and then grab this knight on b8. Uh, you're up a whole piece, uh, this is completely winning for white. So after queen to d8, check, uh, king was forced uh, to go for more walking, king to c5, and here we have b4 with check. The bishop is protecting the pawn, uh, king to c4, uh, and now queen to g8 with check. Uh, king goes to b5, and now a4. And uh, black has an option here, he can either go to b6 or he can capture the pawn. Uh, if he grabs the pawn with king captures on a4, uh, we have queen to a2 check, king to b5, now queen to a5 check, and after... Uh, after king to c6, now rook to c8 with check. Uh, queen has to block, and now simply bishop captures on f4. This is beautiful. Uh, the queen cannot capture the queen or the bishop because it's pinned from the rook. And after queen captures rook, bishop to d3 is check. Uh, bishop to f3 is checkmate. And this is uh, one beautiful checkmate. Uh, you know, this is quite a checkmate. <laughs> Uh, so after this a4 check, uh, Lalit Babu decided to play king to b6, and after queen to d8 check, Lalit Babu now resigned the game. Uh, it's uh, similar to the position we already have had, uh, only uh, these pawns are now on a4 and b4, and uh, well, there is no more retreat squares for the king. Uh, so in this position, uh, Lalit Babu resigned the game. Uh, what could follow is what we've already shown after queen to c7, simply bishop captures on f4, uh, and after the queen captures and rook captures, black is losing a piece. Uh, after the knight moves, like we said, a bishop captures, and after rook captures on b8, this is unplayable for black. 
uh, I will just uh, show an interesting variation. Uh, for example, a king to c7. Now you just uh, push the king back, and after bishop to d7, uh, threatening a5 checkmate. Uh, after black stops this, you play b5, and this is uh, this is a beautiful position. Uh, this king can never leave the b6 square, and this rook can never leave the a7 square. So this is only something that might have happened if black continued to play this game. Uh, but after queen to the eighth check, Lalibaba resigned, and a beautiful victory was achieved by the 18-year-old uh, Kartikian Murali. Uh, quite a game. Uh, at the moment, I believe uh, the current standings are uh, Kartikian is second in, in standings, uh, half a point behind the, the first place. I forgot who was in the first place. Uh, so yeah, that's the game. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it, and uh, well, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Daniel, Daniel Allen for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon.